Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Patty Savar. She has a blog, and you may know her already. Uh, we went to Vans this morning, and we found out different things, very interesting things that we're going to show you. over the hill between Nice and Antibes, just 20 minutes from Nice airport and 5 minutes from Saint Paul de Vence. It is one of the few local medieval villages that is still alive as a local neighborhood and has not been transformed into a commercialized tourist destination. It's a vibrant little village with a strong sense of community where small local commerce still thrive despite the competition from the large shopping center in the surrounding areas. In Vance, it is like going back on time when family shops and artisans offer their service directly to the locals, creating a strong sense of community and bond. While Antibes and Saint Paul de Vence and Saint Tropez, with their fame and glamour, have lost their authenticity, Vance still preserves the original characteristic of a small French village of Provence. This is why in Vance you can find some amazing food artisans and can enjoy buying grocery in the local shop where buying and choosing your food is only a small part of the experience. It is the welcome, is the openness of the shop owners to explain and talk about the product they sell. It is their life, their passion, often passed on from generation. And here is my favorite shop. Fromagerie au pauvre dents. This fromagerie has been passed over from mother to daughter. They have been the local cheese shop for the last 14 years. I have been coming here for the last 20 years and I can easily spend hours and a fortune. Their warm welcome, the variety of cheese they have and their knowledge and expertise is fascinating just to listen and learn. So Patty and I are here to choose a wide variety of Frenchies to cover the different types, from chef to soft, moldy and mature. A petit morceau de Saint Nectaire. Donc ça c'est c'est fromage de vache. Saint Nectaire. It's a creamy cheese made with cow milk from Auvergne region. Blue de Bresse. Also a cheese made with cow milk. It has a similar texture as the brie and has some blue mold in the middle. Not too tasty, not too strong. Roquefort Société, most famous blue cheese. It's a big industrial name. Et je vais l'essayer. Voilà. Voilà. Et il est assez pour les amateurs. Oui. Vous voyez, les sports sont oui. noirs. Roquefort Papillon, instead, is for the expert and cheese lovers. It has a creamy texture and a powerful taste. Non, non, Okay. It's a fresh cheese that is starting to mature, age only two to three weeks. It's dense and creamy, not strong or dry.
Alors, je vais en prendre un. C'est fin, c'est tout. D'accord, avec un bon goût de, un bon goût de chèvre, hein, sans être. Oui, voilà, c'est bien. Alors, ça, c'est du chèvre aussi. Ça, c'est déjà plus affiné que ceci. C'est plus de goût. Et là, c'est crémeux, par contre. It is also got Alors, cheese, and it's more mature. Crémeuse. You can see that it's much more creamy, with a stronger taste than the baguette. baguette. Avec du goût, ça, c'est plus fin, plus doux. Donc, c'est très différent. D'accord. Et Alors, ça aussi, je suis en train d'avoir chaud. 3 mois d'affinage. Comte, my favorite. It's a semi-hard. It's maturity from 8 to 36 months. It has a sweet pottery flavor and has a firm and mellow taste. The Probably the most famous French cheese, soft and creamy. It's so much different when you buy it in a fresh fromagerie. Tom de Savoy is a cheese made from the milk left from the butter. It is usually lower in fat compared to other cheese. There are different varieties, and the Savoy has a stronger flavor. Oui. Oui, merci. Mimolette. Before we go, the lady offers us a piece of mimolette to try. A very hard cheese full of flavor. Interesting. We continue our walk among the narrow street to visit a hidden gem in the heart of the village. We enter in Vance Cathedral. Right over the baptistry, a mosaic by Chagall. Moses saved from the Niles, 1979. We leave the heart of the old village, but before we go home, with all this cheese, we need to make another stop. We cannot go home without a good supply of French baguette, and we don't have to go too far. My favorite baker in the Côte d'Azur, Patisserie Palanque. There is always a long queue, as the quality of his bread and pastries are well known all around. Just have a look, and you will understand why. All those delicacies are made in the back of the shop. Three generations of bakers keeping their tradition and their recipes alive. And in particular, the masterpiece, the croque Taken in 1929 by Joseph Falan, artisan and baker. It's a brioche pastry on the base of a milfoil with a caramelized base of jam and roasted almonds on top. So we got all we need for today and we are going back home. If you are here, don't miss to visit the beautiful Matisse Chapel. If you want to stop for lunch, on the left, one Michelin star restaurant Le Baccanale and you can find my restaurant review on my blog. On the right, towards saint Jeanette, there is the villa featured in Alfred Hitchcock movie Catch the Thief, as the residence of Cary Grant. That's all for now. With this video, we end the Spring Starter series. The school is about to end, the summer is almost here, and it's time to entertain. Cheers. Cheers. Next series will be about summer parties and barbecue. And if you want to see how Patty and I sit up the table with the cheese we bought, 
don't miss next episode.